Welcome to the Area of Effect Gaming channel. Today we're talking about Project Entropy 2099 and how to best utilize your downtime. Make sure you stay tuned until the end of the video when I'm going to tell you what I think the best way to use your downtime is. One of the best ways I find to utilize downtime is hunting swarms. Um, now you can do that more efficiently later in the game because every day you can hit a higher level swarm. So the game starts you at six and then every day you can go one higher. So seven, eight, nine, all the way up to a max of 20. On the current account, I'm only at 15. I have five days left until we get to 20. But once you get to 20, then you wanna burn all the extra tickets you get from the 75 chest. So on your daily missions, chest five, or chest four, sorry, is five intermediate commander stamina tokens which grants you 250 uh, stamina, which stamina is what you use to go hunt swarms. So I've got 952 right now and it costs me 50 to do one swarm. So in here I can do batch extermination and do multiple and use all that up. So we're gonna wanna do that once they're at 20 and that's the best, most efficient way to do it. It does sometimes mean you're hero experience may suffer early game but i feel it's worth it to be more efficient plus saving all those tickets gives you something to do later in the game because there's going to be times where you're not at war and you have nothing else to do and you need to kill downtime this is one of the best ways i've found to utilize that downtime is hunting swarms i hope you agree if you agree leave a comment a good way to use your downtime is using the interstellar tournament tickets. The, the two that you get from your dailies, you get one in chest three and then you get one in chest five. Um, where you use those is going to be in Warfront and then Tournament. And it's these things right here up in the top. So you get your five free dailies that reset at, at zero zero. Uh, but then each day you can accumulate these two extra tickets, which allow you to do extra events or extra tournament entries or challenges as, as they show here. And what I like to use them for is testing formation. So I'll save these up until later in the game and they can amass, you know, pretty good. And then later on when you have downtime and you want to test uh, some formations or, you know, combos, stuff like that, you can now utilize your downtime by using those tickets and testing things out. Let's see, I wanna move Porcupine back, see if that does better against this formation. Um, or, you know, switch these two around. Or just switch them out entirely. Take Fallout out, put Siren in, you know. Uh, you can try multiple different things. But the point is to use your downtime and using those tickets will be beneficial to you. I hope you found that tidbit helpful. If you did, let me know in the comments, and we're gonna go on to the next one. All right, another thing that we can do to kill downtime um, is mock station battles. Now this is more of a, an alliance level type activity, but if you press your your leaders to, to try to organize it, it can be a useful way to do some downtime. So basically what this entails is uh, two leaders agreeing to, you know, just do mock battles, uh, usually best maybe over a station. So let's say uh, this station here. Uh, so one alliance controls it, and then the other alliance would try to capture it, and uh, you just have a battle ensue. So um, Obviously, you'd give it back after or, you know, quit before they take it or just, you know, it could be a time where you're trying to get all the alliances on your server to have a uh, level 12 or level 14 or a level 16 uh, achievement personally for capturing, a, you know, one of those types of stations. And we all have that achievement uh, that we need to do by the end of the season. So you can utilize mock station battles to kill two birds with one stone to kill downtime and to get you those personal achievements i hope you found that helpful we'll move on to trophy farming
For our last item, the one that I find to be the most effective use of your downtime is going to be trophy farming. Um, and I did make a video on that, so I'll point that to you um, at the end of the video, and I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, but trophy farming is very important because you can spend those resources in the trophy store to buy uh, fragments and chests and teleports. So as you can see on the screen here, I've got one account of mine attacking another account of mine with a regen build. So they're both killing troops, but then regening. Uh, and killing is the act of getting a trophy. So by regening, it extends the battle uh, far out and gets me more trophies, which is the uh, goal. So I've got the trophy farming video, which I mentioned a minute ago. Um, I'm going to link that. And if you want more details on how to properly trophy farm and the different scenarios in which you can trophy farm, I highly recommend checking out that video. Again, it will be linked in the description. And that concludes today's video. I want to thank you for watching. Hope you have a good day. And we will see you on the next one with Area of Effect Gaming. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. If you liked what you saw, please click the subscribe button on the screen and hit that notification bell if you want to see more content when I post it. I look forward to seeing you on the next one.